All right, guys, I'm back at Adair Honey Farm. We're making up some more cell builders. Brood was moved up above these so that it would have time for the nurse bees to come up. And then it's just a simple matter of going in adding your bees you want these to be pretty strong lots of good pollen and honey stores and lots lots of bees so a lot of these are shook down and still moving up you can see here we're going to smoke these down put a lid on them and then we'll move them over and we'll just go down the line and doing that until we get enough filled up uh, to where we want them All right, guys, it's been a hectic day, but I promised a video on grafting. I'll go into depth better next time as we do this over the next few weeks. But what we got here is uh, these end bars. They hold four JZBZ bars. We like using the JZBZ bars because the cell cups don't fall out of them. Um, you get 15 on these as compared to a wooden cell bar, which will get 20. But when you switch to these end bars, you still get four in, so you still get 60 cells in your cell builder, which is what I like. Um, for grafting, don't really use anything fancy. I like the very simple Chinese grafting tool because it allows you to get in there and get underneath the larvae and take the royal jelly with it. This way you don't have to worry about priming cells. Uh, then the next thing that I like, um, I don't use any magnifiers or anything like that, but just a simple headlamp and a dark room. You can do this in your, in your vehicle, park under a shade tree. If you don't have a shade tree, you can keep a sheet in your truck and throw it over your windshield. I've done that before. So when we go down to the yard and we get our, our cell builders, we bring a jester box and we pull out from our cell, or not our cell builders, but from our um, breeder queen hives, frames to graft from. So I've taken a few pictures of close up of larvae size. Uh, we have several bars here as we go and we have them grafted. We set them aside according to the queen that they came from. Then we cover them with a, a damp towel. But as far as uh, in the grafting room, that's about it. Uh, I will try to move in closer. At least to show you the action that we're looking for i've about picked out this frame another thing always keep the tip of your tool moist in between larvae i go down the side and have a little bit of a twist like that so the tip of the Chinese grafting tool is very thin the plunger goes up this way so you're going to want to go under it that way so it's important to keep it moist when you find the correct sized larvae you want to go down the side of the cell to the back of the larvae. 
do a little twist motion. And if you damage them like I did right there, then you'll want to just lick it off or wipe it off on the frame. So since I've moved my frame off the angle here, okay, there we go. So little bit difficult to see I think mostly what's showing up on the on the video is uh... Jacob let me see your bar real quick okay there's his last empty so just press down in the bottom use your plunger and move out and then you're Cells dead in the center. Thank you. So that's it for in here. We'll be finishing these up uh, very shortly and getting them out into the cell builders. Uh, and I will pick up the video out there. Got a total of four. Okay guys, back down here in the bee yard, we like to use five frame cell starters, so they'll have six frames to start, but one will go out for the, the grafting frame. So we have to go through every frame and make sure that we cut down all the cells that they've started for themselves. Now this is a, a food frame. But we still got to check it. Just shake the bees down. Then you go and you got to cut out anything that they start anything potential It's important to shake the bees off so that you can see any little start of a sale. See when the frames like this, you could miss quite a few. It's a lot more difficult. So it's very important. Shake all these off. Then take a look at whatever is on there.
this one been done? Yes. It's on the side. Can you put your frame in there? No, not yet. <laughs> Good bit of sales on now. Yeah, you can show them it's going right there. I can't see it. I can't see it. I can see. I can see it. So this cell looks a little funny. It's a good example to show you. See how this one's dropped down so much? It's because as they floated it out, the larvae fell. So when it dropped, they extended it out. It's essentially the same as this one here, but you see this one, Jacob? The larvae dropped. That's why they made it out like a so long. Yep. It's important when you're cutting these down that you get in there, get down in there and get that larvae out or they'll just build it back out though. Squish it. I set you a frame beside there. So here's the frames, guys, with a note of what queen and the date.
All right, guys, so now we have our grafting frames left. And we will go back and we got to put the brood frames back in those. And we will put the uh, brood frames back for her to lay. Now these being our breeder queens. They do have these drone combs in them as well. Let me bring y'all over here. I think you can see there pretty good. So we got lots of lots of drones. So this is just as important as the queens that we'll be grafting. I can take another frame here if you got it. So the drones are just as important because we can make just a, a certain amount of queens, but we can make, gosh, thousands and thousands of drones. So. They're just as important. Uh, they're 100% copies of their mother and very important in what we do as well. Okay guys, we're back at the cell builders. Want to see what our success looks like here. Ease this frame out. And we got pretty good bee coverage. And looks like a pretty good take. Please excuse the voiceover. The microphone had fell off and it was just recording from the phone. So here you can see good royal jelly feel. They're working on these cells. And that's what we're looking for. Earlier, I did the video segment showing you cutting the cells down in the cell builders before we grafted into them. I didn't really explain very much there, but it's very important to get rid of any would-be queen cells that are in there so that they'll accept your grafts. The steps in this video were a little bit rushed. It was our first graft of the season. And it was more important for us to get the work done than the video at this time. But there'll be many more throughout the season, so I'll be able to take time and show you a little more in depth through each step as we go through the season. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you around.